Hi guys, this is Eric. Back again. Uh, Beth had a pretty good idea today. She wanted to plant some gourds out. So we tilled this area up here by the house and using this old chicken tractor that we've had that's about dilapidated to use them to grow on. We got a mixture of birdhouse gourds and a mixture of just a, a variety of different gourds. I thought it would be pretty cool for the kids to be able to grow some gourds this year. We've never grown gourds before. The only thing close enough to gourds that we've ever grown was probably some loofah sponges. Oh, Ashton wants to show you his strawberries. He's got some strawberries coming on his plant. Yeah, and they're going to get one white. Yeah. And so we got to plant some tomatoes up here. We got seven cages. We got two up here in the front. We're going to plant some tomatoes on. And there's five back here that we're going to go ahead and plant on. We'll do it and try to get three to four tomato plants around each cage and do our little system that we do with our tomatoes. We got because we still got a bunch of tomatoes that need to go out. My son earlier today he came out up came up on here and tilled it up with the tractor earlier. It tilled up real nice. This is nice good fertile soil. Best starting to plant right now the tomatoes where Livy's in here. Still planting on these gourds. We might throw some pumpkins in there too. Pumpkins, yay. So Best digging around these tomatoes. We'll get some of these tomatoes planted out for you guys and show you what we're doing. What variety is that one? Uh, that's a long keeper. This is a burpee long keeper. Burpee long keeper tomatoes are supposed to keep up to two months after picking. So I thought that would be an awesome tomato for the end of the year. When other people don't have tomatoes, I'll still have ripe tomatoes with these long keepers. The flavor must, from what I was told, wasn't the greatest, but it's better in the winter time. <laughs> When you don't have any fresh tomatoes, then what the store bought in one's taste. And this one's a Baxter Bush cherry. That's a Baxter Bush cherry. And those are supposed to be good in pots. Maybe we see if we have another long keeper in there, so maybe I can do them together. That one's a long keeper. Come on, keeper. I can help. I'm kind of long keeper. Okay, just you get me, okay? Is that a long keeper? No, that's a bush cherry. Oh, I can push it. And I think that a backup bush. We're just going, we got oh, totes yeah. full of tomatoes yeah. still. Yeah. We still got a bunch in the greenhouse yeah. over there. And I also thought about even throwing some radishes and some lettuce seeds out th through here to see what happens. This is a kind of a shady, shady area here. This is the north side of our house. What one you got there, Alex? That's mine. Baxter bush, that's mine. That's another Baxter bush. Give that to Livy. That's mine, Ashton. Baxter bush. That's Baxter bush. Yeah. What did that say? That's a long keeper. You need to give that one to Mom. I'm excited about trying these long keepers out this year. Yeah, that's nothing. You can throw that away. What do you find? It's an empty one. I think there was a plant. Oh, it was a plant. Oh. Somebody grabbed it and then it broke. I bet you just did that, didn't you? Me? Yeah. But you got there. Oh, that's a steak sandwich. That's a burpee steak sandwich. It's a hybrid. They're supposed to be really productive. Who get that one? Um, Mom, maybe? Are you doing those two in Baxter Bush? They're broken. Yes. Right. I'm bent. That is bent. All right, we got other tomatoes besides those boys. Go grab the other carton of tomatoes, Alex, over there by the. I did. By the car. By the car. <laughs> Sun's starting to come out now. It's been cloudy all day. Thought it was gonna rain. We got a little mist, and that was about it. We're, this. Soil tilled up so nice. Look at that, she's just digging effortlessly into that. Livy's using her hands, that's how nice this tilled up. Yeah, 
Oh, the boys are coming along with another batch of tomatoes here. We got crates of these tomatoes. I did too many, but oh well. You can't never have enough tomatoes, can you? No. Right, boys, one, two, and let's see what we got in that. Okay, those are some big daddies, I see. Got some burpy big daddies. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, what is that? Uh, that's an early pick. Oh, that's be a good one. That'd be an early. That'd be that's kind of like your early girl. That's a San Marzano. San Marzano, that's a good uh paste tomato. Oh, I need two bags for bush if you have any. Uh, what is that? That's Big Daddy. Let me have that one. Hi, Big Daddy. Yeah. Hey, wait. Hi, Big Daddy. Like, you a Big Daddy. Yeah, I'm a Big Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Uh, I have, I don't know. Big Daddy, too. Two Big Daddies. Got me a double big daddy. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on, we're gonna be done here and we're gonna move up to the front and finish this. Oh, okay, yeah, I need some, one more. Are oh, you gonna do pumpkins too? Yeah, we can do some pumpkins. We might do them along the sides here. Yeah, I do a, some pumpkins along this front side of this over here, Beth. That way they can grow down this hill. I was telling her she can plant them down through here and let them pumpkins grow down this valley as a hauler. These kids love to garden. So does Beth. We all love to garden. That's what's nice about our family. We all enjoy it. We all like our certain things to plant and do things with. Nice. Ashton loves his watermelons and cucumbers to plant and pumpkins. And pumpkins. And Avery loves growing corn. Is there any certain one I can and I think Livy just likes growing everything. No, because I think those ones I planted are bigger ones. Oh. I wanted the pumpkin seeds, babe. Oh. They're on the porch. And more bunch more oh, tomatoes yeah. down through here. Oh. Wish I could give them a bunch away to people. We can't even give tomato plants away. Ain't that crazy? You gonna plant that in pumpkins right there? I'd probably do it on the other side, Beth, because this is the north. Oh, the shady. Yeah, I might throw some radishes in here is what I was thinking. There's be some extra more pumpkins for us. We're going to hopefully plant out a, a big patch of pumpkins on top of the hill still. We haven't got that far yet. We're getting a lot of irons in the fire. Some of those pie pumpkins and we'll yeah let's do those sugar ones here that's yeah. what i think so the other ones don't get taken over yeah cool. they're sugar pie pumpkins they're supposed to be good for pies oh we still need to mow it grows so fast Yep. Drop the one? Yeah. That's all right. Go through there and plant those out, buddy. We planted gourds in there, buddy. Just, uh, I think, around the outside, uh, around the, the perimeter, 
And then I think maybe put some around that pole. Yep. That's in there. Yeah. Yep. yep. So hopefully all those gourds go crazy in this old chicken tractor. Yeah, just toss one. Yep, just like that, and she'll cover them up. I got it. Nope, keep going. Just keep going. Keep oh, going. you got a bunch through there, don't you? Here, I'm gonna have a couple. We'll just poke them up here where we didn't do as many. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, if they all grow up the fence or go down the hill. Didn't we have it one time where they would grow? Like, it was really fun to grow up. Like, my, like mine's doing right now. Yeah, we grew them here one other like year and they grew all the way down that hill. What? Yeah, one really good. We've got these two cages to plant out right up here in front still. Yeah. Then we'll probably be done. I might throw some radishes and some lettuce in this shaded area right through here after a while. I haven't planted any radishes this year. Usually I plant a few radishes. I'm the only one that eats them. But we're, we're going to finish this up, guys. Hey, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.